Parental discretion is advised. again it's post wrestlemania that video still going um i am uh, the master of ceremonies here sorgatron down here at mayhem studios in pittsburgh pa i want to welcome you we're gonna we're, we're gonna have some fun we're gonna we're gonna prove that wrestling's fun again and uh with me to help me do that uh, is fun. dj fun. lunchbox a monster hike that's right it is dj lunchbox uh, aka long time listener, first time caller, aka the Rizza, aka Chocolate Cherry Cheesecake Blizzard, aka Taco Man Salad, aka the one and the only DJ Sauce Box. Excellent, excellent. What? Also, wait, 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 hold on one minute. Oh no! What did you just say? Did you just say you're the Rizza? <laughs> Rizza, with the Rizza? A, not the Riz, not the Riz. Then he also, but. Okay, I'll accept. He it. also made up with, a, with right. Taco Man Salad. He did. He, he, did. he calls himself what he wants. <laughs> also Taco joining us, salad. if I'll turn up his ah. mic a little bit, is the Wrestle Fan from San Antonio, Texas. How are you? The Wrestle Fan, yes, who does not have fancy nicknames like Taco Man Salad, but hey, I'm still awesome, and this is the Wrestling Mayhem there Show. There you go. And also back with us is Bo Diggity. Oh, it is the man who combines the raw athletic ability of Bo Jackson and the smoothness of Black Street's Bo- No diggity. It is Bo Diggity out here to talk that wrestling show with you tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> vote oh. and vote often. Okay. Wow. Huh. Bear with me, the audio. We're trying something different, as you can tell in the corner if you're on the video here. Let's go through here and see if the, it, it cooperates with us. First, the Riz is in the hangout. That's not the Riz. Wait, where's the Riz? Where's the Riz? Always use Bobby. There I am. Rizzle fan. It's not the Riz. It's still me. Just still Bobby. I'm the Riz, and I'm awesome. I know I am. There you go, Bobby FJ Towns joining us. Who apparently has a monopoly on the video going on. Yeah, I do. Click off of him. You need to click off of him. I will conquer all of you. Here we no, go. click oh. on Riz. By the okay, way, no, 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 the Riz. There you go. Click on me. There, 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 you are. there we yeah, go. There you We're go. figuring out this That's hangout. Me. There We're it back. is. How you doing, now Riz? Click on Riz. Now back to no. me. Now back to Bobby. Now back to me. Now back to me. Now back to the Riz. I, I, now, gonna, now to wheels. We're going to... Diamonds. <laughs> there, there's wheels. Diamonds. That's hey. Wheels. Yeah. Hi, Wheels. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I don't have a catchy catchphrase, <laughs> but I am... Sexy. <laughs> what? <laughs> so okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, I, wow. There, our audios are all over the place tonight, so we're gonna work with that. But uh, hey, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, you can you can of course find out more of us, but more about us over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're posting a lot of stuff over there, a lot of blog posts, a lot of uh, reviews of Impact, uh, indie reviews, stuff like that, and of course past episodes of this very program. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Uh, you can drop us an email to Good Times, Good Times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, or uh, drop us a line to the phone number mail. At 412-206-WMS-09670. Um, hey, we're also a bunch of other places. You can subscribe to us over on Blip TV, YouTube.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, on the iTunes, on, uh, on, on all kinds of different places. We're available on your Roku, on your Xbox via iTunes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and also, we got an app. Anybody got the app out there? Yeah. Hey, my yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we got it over yes, there. Yes, I do. There it is. <laughs> Uh, there, Riz has got it over that's, there. That's still Bobby. That's, I don't know why it stays on Bobby. That's still Bobby. Bobby. That's still Bobby. Where Bobby. Is it? There it is. There you are. There, there I am. So uh, I think Google Plus has it. Go check that out. It's over. It's 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 yeah. 
<laughs> it's over on the uh, uh, Android. They show me for about a second. Then it's I know. I don't, I don't understand. We're trying. We're, we're, we're playing with Google Hangout. We're trying to see if it's functional for our needs here. It's been really sporadic so far. Um, but it's, it's but it's a, the WMS pleasure. Gold app is available over on uh, on your uh, iTunes store for your iOS devices, as well as the uh, Amazon App Store for Android. And we're don't still yet know what happened to the Google Play Store, uh, but we should be in there. Uh, but we'll get that figured out here. Right, follow us on Google Plus on Facebook. There's a lot of conversation going on that, there. And as usual, we go with the fans to start the show and decide what we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, first one is from Mr. Uh, Sonic Screwjob. Who wants to take that one? Actually, I think I think I think LB, you need to. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you <all right> there? <laughs> well, he'll do it when he's done with his petting fest. AJ was petting me through the. I was I was petting her. Go to the watch shot. Go to the watch shot. We'll show you how this is done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go to the watch shot. For those of you who are on the audio, you need to watch the video for this. Go ahead. Ready? Ready? Oh no! I'm on a delay. Let's wait. Oh, oh, come here. Come here. There it is. A little bit closer. There we go. There, there we go. go. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> That's really nice. That's Thank nice you. of you guys. <laughs> we're just we're reaching out through the internet. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the Mayhem Petting Zoo. The Mayhem Petting Zoo. But there it is. There it is. Arr, okay. <clears throat> oh. Wait, fuck my! It's everything slow this week. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> WrestleMania. I'm sorry. Wrestle manipulated. Dot 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 is the title of the email. WrestleMania has come and gone. Now comes time to pick up the pieces. Rock's victory has completed the character assassination of John Cena, who gets rewarded for his company loyalty by putting over the guy who will disappear like Frosty the Snowman on a July morning in Miami. So what's WW do? What? WW do? What? WW do? What would WWE gonna do to unfumble things after Rock moves on with a fat paycheck in his pocket and a screenplay under his arm? What about Zack Ryder? Tossed under the bus in an effort to salvage the beating Cena was taking from the fans. Or Eve. Actually, she might end up better. Up the better of all the talent burned down in Hollywood Johnson's wake. Yeah, yeah, that's her. That's Undertaker. I'm writing this during Raw, so I haven't seen Cena's announcement yet, so I'm curious, how, cur- curious, Jesus, curious how to salvage Cena, who was suffering from Hoganitis, before being sacrificed for the sake of two dozen spots on Entertainment Tonight and a metric fuckload of t shirt sales. I've been opposed to a Cena heel turn because he's precarious position with the fans, and I don't think they'll follow him across the aforementioned Hulk Hogan, like Hulk Hogan. Now I'm on board with it. Have seen a turn heel. I mean evil heel. I'm talking the kind of evil that would give Kane, Taker, and Kevin Sullivan nightmares. But keep claiming the rise above hate motto. He could start a C-Nation like CM Punk Straight Edge Society with some of the NXT guys. With the exception of Kane, Excuse me, there's a shortage of dark heels, so let Punk be the face on Raw, and let Cena run rampant. Heck, maybe Rock will come back so Cena can pull a redemption storyline, and then he can put put over Rock again before he leaves to film the Truth Fairy Incorporated with Larry the Cable Guy. (laughs) Don't get me wrong, I like The Rock, but he's setting back the company years for a quick cash grab. Rock didn't need the publicity. WWE didn't need the publicity, even though they would never admit it. And the writers don't need the hassle to repair the fallout. I hope I'm wrong, and I'm prepared for the mayhem backlash, but I had to speak my mind. Sorry about the length, though. Surprisingly enough, I'd have to say match of the night was the end of an era. Proof positive that wrestling is as much psychological as physical. You don't have to have spot monkey tactics to tell a story. It's all about the story. Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones was just as exciting as Jackie Chan. Let Triple H, Taker, and Michaels all lay low for a while, sell the injuries, and it'll be one for the history books. Punk and Jericho was incredible, but with that caliber of talent, it was no surprise, even with the odd storyline and reintroduction of Laurinaitis' feud. I've heard rumors that Fozzie is going back on tour midsummer, but at least we have, we'll have a good run until then. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. 
best JR quotes from WrestleMania. Hmm. All right, I want to get these right. Okay. Sledgehammer shot scintillating to the face. Hell in a Cell is a lawless entity with no rules. Shawn Michaels has to be unemotional in an emotional situation. The rite of passage of officiating. Carcinogenic right hands. And my favorite, this structure is morally corrupt. And you thought I was a word hound. There you go. Thanks, Sonic Screwjob. And uh, we got another one here from Mad Mike. He's very talkative this 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 week. <laughs> so uh, if, you would put that, if you would kindly put these these emails into the into the doc, we could this all read this them. this actually is in the doc. I, I don't see it. I got oh, sir. This, the, this did not. I don't even think paste, I have the doc. This did not paste into the doc, the doc as either. I intended. There, there you go. Um, hey guys, I'm emailing you because uh, da, 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 because this is post mania, so it demands more attention. Oh, Quick things about mania. My friend uh, thought o- Orange Hat Guy maybe may have had doubts. Mm, doubtful. Uh, no, Next. no. Uh, Brian Sheamus is the start of a no. feud, not the end. Uh, Kane winning was a nice surprise. Uh, Big Show may be the most accomplished champion in WWE. Won every active title for 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 guys. Uh, Tori Wilson better bring the Yankee at a world may, bring the Yankees a World Series ring. Okay. Uh, Pirate, 2012, Escobar. baby, is the Pirates year. It's 2012. This is, this is the year to believe. <laughs> it's finally going to be the year. <laughs> Triple H versus Taker was the best hey. overall match of the show. Punk versus Jericho, was, and, and he did uh, have a voicemail. It's from uh, late last week before WrestleMania where he wholeheartedly agreed with uh, WrestleFan. And WrestleFan, he got some support some other places too, I think, on like Facebook and stuff. Uh, yes, to I your, did. To your, so. to your argument about uh, Taker Triple H stealing the show, uh, <laughs> which which I didn't say that Taker and Triple H was going to steal the show. I said if everyone Taker and Triple. Listen, oh. no, 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 because this is what happened. All I said was Taker and Triple H could do something really good, and all Chachi heard was Taker Triple H good and lost his shit. Chachi? No, listen. If every single person is emailing or leaving voicemails saying that you said Triple H Taker would steal the show, guess what? You it said wasn't that shit. just me who said that you said Triple H and Taker would steal the show. Well, therefore, therefore, you said Taker Triple H would steal the show. I, I actually I said Rock would steal the show, which I was Shut wrong up. about that. Shut Anyways, up. Anyways, back to the email, guys. Oh, Rock going to steal the show. You know what? I said the Maria Menounda Menomina and Kelly <laughs> Kelly was going to steal the show, but nobody wants to give me credit for that, mostly because it didn't sell <laughs> shit. No, it didn't. Listen, no, it didn't. I think we can all agree that that except for the squad on the with AIDS stole the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's from Cleveland, so fuck him sideways. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, back to it. Punk versus Jericho was the best technical match on the show. It's a shame the crowd seemed tired. Well, hell, after what they saw in Hell in the Cell. Mar- Maria oh. Menuno sells better than Kelly Kelly. Where does Teddy Long go from here? Broken. What? I said she wasn't <laughs> selling. The fucking ribs were broken. <laughs> <laughs> Cena should have won since he isn't going to turn heel. Quick thoughts about post-Mania Raw. Nice to see uh, they called Tensai a former WWE superstar since it's hard to hide that it's A-Train. I, I didn't catch that in the commentary, though. No, they, they did. didn't say. They said they, it. I heard it. They didn't. They just said it. No, they yeah, didn't she, say he was a drain. He no, just no, said they said he was just a former WWE yeah. star. Yeah, yeah. They um, said they they played it off as yeah. After his tenure with the WWE, he went to Japan to become a huge star. Yeah, and now he's yeah. back. I, I like his he, he, the, his match was a lot more interesting than I thought. You know what I liked? What you like? He yeah. shaved his back. There you go. And the next item here is actually <laughs> R.I.P. Shave your back chant. Uh, Jericho should have used Grey Goose on Punk. Uh, Abraham Washington is going to reform the new nation. Oh uh, my God! Let the nation of domination come back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, and yes, chants on Raw are amazing, but they will reach annoying levels faster than the what chant did. Mm, yes, chants at indie ROH shows are still fucking retarded. Okay, I have negative fucks to give about Alberto returning. Did Brian just become a face? Rock's speech was nice, but please never give him a title shot. Cena's speech was great. Reinforced 
why I like his character and rebounded nicely from the loss he shouldn't have had. And finally, the final three items are Brock fucking Lesnar. Also, a uh, quick report from the new show, the NEW show, which I think is Northeast Wrestling, if I'm I not believe mistaken. so, yes. Um, you, you can save uh, this for Amateur Falling Down if you want. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Melina got pissed by our got pissed at our Hal's Batista chant. Amazing six way ladder match. Dreamer That's is still chant. a fucking hardcore animal. Uh, main event guy gigged open harder than Eddie at Judgment Day versus JBL. Uh, Warrior didn't run to the ring or shake any robes, which made us upset. Cool guy though. Jomo John Morrison uh, laughed at our We Want Snooky chant, which makes him awesome. He had a great match with Finley. Uh, he got Matt and Rebby to loathe us. What? Oh, loathe us. <laughs> to loathe us with our How Was Rehab, We Want Jeff, and You Love Soma's chants. Then, when he lost, we chanted Still a Jobber. Awesome show overall. Uh, vote for Matt Mike at the Mayhemies. It'd be a great birthday gift to me, which is Sunday, fuckers, so you better sing. And a vote for Matt Mike is a vote for AJ, Wolf, and me not burning down the studio. Wait, wait a minute. White Alchemist what? adding transmission. No, I, stop. I, I, time out. Whoa, uh, whoa, time whoa, 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 out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the studio is not up for grabs in this thing. Right. I no, gotta it say. Isn't. It isn't. AJ? Oh, yes, sir. Listen, I hate to put you in this position. Yeah, this is a, t- this is a ten- tenuous situation. Uh, but I'm gonna need your, uh, I'm gonna need to know where you, your allegiance lies in this. It's AJ Chachi 2012 to 2050. After okay. that, we can have discussions. But as of right now, it is both diggity talking. Uh, all right, just making sure. <laughs> Chachi AJ 2012. Puppies both freedom in America. Puppies freedom. Churros. Nachos with no jalapenos. Just that <laughs> sweet ass cheese that they got in the arenas. And uh, uh, big sized gulps of Coke. If you don't Drink, know, not the white powder. If you don't know what the <laughs> fuck they're talking about, you can go over to wrestlingmayhemshow.com right now and uh, vote in the Mayhemy Awards. Our I don't know what edition it's a 2011 edition. I don't know how many we've actually done. I believe a it's the years. fourth. It's the fourth you know, edition. The problem with the mayhem. That's because what I wrote on the site. Okay, that's no, good enough. It doesn't have shit to do with what you wrote on the site, Wrestle Fan. You set up the Mayhemies, didn't you? Yes, I did. So you set it up, you set it up so that uh, you can just continually vote over and over, right? Yep. Uh, So so shut up, shut up. So the person (laughs) who wins host of the year is going to be the one who has the most free time to sit and vote for themselves. (laughs) Which, but, never, yep. if you want honest yep. results in a poll, never make it so you can vote over and over. Either make them work for it or don't do it at all. How about don't blame me, blame Google? This fuck you and fuck everybody who looks like you. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> so, what does Rest Trey Bowen have to do with me? Fuck one half of the tag team champion. Chris Hilbig is a Chris Hilbig is a twat. It's all, it's <laughs> under, there is collusion. It's all under review. <laughs> this entire year is under review. <laughs> and the reason is because WrestleFan doesn't know how to run a poll. Oh, I owe oh, somebody getting pissy about something happening on the show involving vo- votes or even points. Oh, why is that a surprise? Oh, hold on here. Hold on. I have the decider here. Hold on. Hold on. It's a fake penis. <laughs> there it is. What? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on. Fan. Uh, a vote for Russell Fan is a vote for Grace Hobig as a twat. Oh! <laughs> oh. Wow. A, vo- a vote for Bobby is a vote for Bobby. All right, all right. Time out. Time out. Okay. Guys, guys. Time out. Bring guys, this. Bring this. Time out. Bring this show. Bring this show time back. Out. Time out. Time out. AJ Chachi 2012. Play the voicemail. Yes. <laughs> okay, we do have a voicemail going on here. His voicemail is not very AJ Chachi 2012. No, oriented. no, no. This is this would be the opposition. This would be I'm the ones prepared, for somebody else. I'm prepared. And he might have some other time on his hands to take care of that. So let's see what he's got to say. Uh, Mayhem Nation. Not Chachi. Getting oh, straight God. to the heart of this. Oh, I'm shit. I'm calling you out because, quite frankly, <laughs> it's funny to me. How you can be so passionate and definite in your opinions about WWE. Like, <laughs> you know, the rage you had about when uh, WrestleFan was talking about the Hell in the Cell match. 
Well, now that it's happened, what do you got to say now? Oh, I have lots Are of things to say me now. That three of the WWE's biggest stars ever did not put everything <laughs> they had into that match. Are you telling me that they did not do everything that the story they told dictated well? And you know what? You, I've noticed that you get vague. You just yell and call things <laughs> stupid and trash talk. So can you, Sork, please hold Chachi. Make him define, Don't give you a definite this. list of everything <laughs> that he did not like about WrestleMania. The oh. more details, the better. Details, man. Details. All right, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> Chachi. Yeah. Can you do me a favor here? <laughs> What's up? Talk to these motherfuckers. What so, I miss. <laughs> pre-show, I made a list. Because I was smart. Played the email, because I or played the voicemail, because I wanted to know who he was calling out this episode. Turned out <laughs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> You so, guys are draw. So, uh, yeah, it's my turn to bat, because this is the first time the Freaky's ever called me out. Is it? Yes. I find that oh, out about about No, he has called out everyone else but me. He's never called me out. Come at me, called Freaky! Me. Never called me out. <laughs> I meant regular. Not me neither. Like, he, he's called Lunchbox Ooh, out. He's called, Wrestle he's called WrestleFan out. He's, he's called Wrestle Sorg out, out, Mike out, Mad Mike out. I'm regular. Me. So... I'm regular. I eat Activia. All right, so <laughs> here is <laughs> here is first off. Let me just let me let me start by apologizing to Russell fan. Jamie Lee Curtis is a twat. Okay, oh. Russell fan. Oh, Russell fan. <laughs> yes, I apologize for yelling at you last week as loud as I did and for as long as I did because um, <laughs> length overall, and volume. Yes, length overall. And volume. Overall, the Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Hell in a Cell match wasn't that bad. I, I still disagree that it stole the show, because I don't think it stole the show at all. Presuming that is indeed the argument that you guys had last week. Right. Hold on. Can, that I, is- can I, as, a, as a, also a listener of last week's show, because I actually listen to the shows. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't want Chachi to apologize for yelling at that late and that loudly because it was a very entertaining day at work that day. So, Chachi, anytime you feel like screaming at somebody, you go right on ahead. I'm going to laugh all sorts of genitalia off the next day or later on that week at work. So, continue. However, I am adding a stipulation. I will revoke this apology if... Triple H faces Undertaker in any manner of match next year at WrestleMania. <laughs> and, and, okay, you know what? I accept that. <laughs> because accept it, because they should not have a third one. Right. There's no rubber match to no, right. had. No. Okay, no so match. it was a good match. It was a better match than I thought was going to happen, honestly. Um, mm-hmm. Was it the best match of the night? Absolutely not. Not even fucking close. Mm-hmm. Because, honestly... It was just one of the guys laying down for a while. Okay. I mean, seriously. Okay. It, they took turns giving each other multiple chair shots to the backs and just beating each other with weapons. Therefore, one of the guys wasn't even working half the time. Uh, we also referred to it as uh, w- where we were watching it all together. Uh, we referred to it as not so much a Hell in a Cell match as a no disqualification match. Right. All the cell was there yeah. to do that was to keep in people the in the in the general vicinity. That was it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I this mean, is no different than any hardcore match they had in the late nineties. And, that's, and, that's, what, I, and, I, and I, that's what most of them. The cell been. wasn't necessary. No. Now the yeah the cell was not necessary. However, Shawn Michaels being in the middle was pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting part of that match. But I like I remember where we when we were all watching, we we're all watching this going. This is kind of hard to watch for the first like 10 minutes of that match. Right. And mm-hmm. then with Sean getting involved and everything and the, the near falls, it started to build. It started to build up to uh, it started to build up to something. But man, it was brutal to watch that first 10 minutes. So it's still not the best the best match on the show. No. Um, it was a good match. I mean, yes. It was a very enjoyable match. Well, other things I didn't like about WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Uh, the entirety of Kane Orton. 
Okay. Uh, the twelve man tag. Mm-hmm. Sure. The women's match. Mm. Rock not riding the Tron light bike. That was sad. <laughs> yeah. On a number of levels. Um, the pointless fucking music performances. Uh, that's wrong. I, and the I fact say they're pointless. No, they were fucking pointless. They and were, the uh, fact no, that they, they, added, they added they were the spectacle pointless. that was Roxena. They were. Go on, I'll, 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 I'll kind of, okay, hold on. Kind of, let me kind of ride with. I'm going to kind of give WrestleFan a little bit here. I'm going to give WrestleFan one freebie here. Vince McMahon, since the WrestleMania 1, has tried to bridge that gap between real entertainment and sports entertainment. Mm-hmm. And even this year, throwing Maria Menounos in a match was that was that attempt. But bringing in Machine Gun Kelly, which was terrible, and yeah. bringing <laughs> Flo- Florida, or Flo Rida, I know, I know his real name. I actually enjoyed the rap music. It's Flo Rida. <laughs> the rap they music. actually did that correctly. Flo Rida's song guys, that he was Florida. performing is a legitimate top twenty hit, top forty hit that's being played on regular radio right now. Yeah, and then putting that with WrestleMania allows the crossover audience. Dude, I, I I wanted to get into this later, but how many people, when we were looking at Twitter the entire time, were what, just random people that we know were watching WrestleMania, even though we know good and well that they don't watch wrestling any other time of the year. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I know one was like it was his first pay per view he bought in fifteen years. Right. So for us. We watch it all the time. We're watching this going, this is stupid. Why is this here? Meanwhile, for a whole other group of people, the people who make WrestleMania the $1 million buy or the, the million buy rate that it, that it likely will be in comparison to, say, uh, Armageddon or whatever the December TLC, which probably got 100 to 150,000 buys, that's yeah. the difference. And that's why they do it. No, definitely. He needs I'm a not, and Chachi, like, I'm not saying the performances were good by any means. <laughs> I mean, MGK, the idiot. MGK performance sucked. I'm, it did. Flow Riders was a little bit better, but it's not because of that. It's because they added to the spectacle that was the rock yeah, scene. Yeah, I mean, match. I mean, let's. I mean, you know, the, the, there's always been celebrities, you know, shoehorned into this thing from the beginning. Go watch WrestleMania two when they're on commentary. That's yeah. hard to watch. Sorry, yeah, I mean, like, let's. Let's oh, also put out there, what was it, two years ago? They had, uh, was that Kid Rock? When all yeah. the Divas came out and Santino was yeah. in that group. Yeah. That's how they got Santino mm-hmm. out there without anyone mm-hmm. noticing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I, mean, I, that's that's what they do. This, they this always try to be bring it. in but at least, big star at to make least that they, happen. At least they married it to these two performers were representing the two the two headliners as opposed to here's a random performance by Limp Biscuit. It's not even yeah. a song for this year. Here's Motorhead doing Triple H's thing. Which is the, but that's kind of cool too. Like I like the 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 like drowning pull plays out Triple H with this theme. Like what, was it Motorhead cool. or who who was Both it that uh, performed this theme one year and like didn't know the lyrics at all? Well, that's that's Lemmy. He doesn't really say words. Um, <laughs> he doesn't say <laughs> words. That's, 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 that's kind of his thing. He was kind of high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, what, what's up? The fact that they didn't cut Machine Gun Kelly's mic as soon as he was done with the music. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when Machine Gun Kelly went yes. into business for himself. Yes. <laughs> uh, I didn't yes. like that. Yes. You got this yes. guy with yes. the big yes. I'm sorry. And uh, the uh, the fact that the triple threat, not triple team, but triple threat tag team match was on the pre-show which was a good match which was an awesome match and but I go big back. show for the intercontinental belt which wasn't all that great of a match yeah yeah was on the show but I, I again go back to at least we were able to see the tag team match this year thanks to it being yeah. streamed on YouTube or in, as a past maybe you would get something say earlier tonight this happened but we're going to keep moving on uh, or be on the DVD or something, right. which really, uh, you know, it's, so you didn't see the what tag team title defense that happened in several years in the past like I, that. I, I get and I get why Big Show Cody Rhodes was on there and opposed to. Uh, yes, I wish the tag match could have been on there, but it wasn't. But, you know, that's for a lot of different reasons. Um, and it's fine that Big Show Cody Rhodes is on there. I just didn't like the match. 
Mm-hmm. Like the match, and I'm gonna get you know say what this is just my thoughts on the whole thing. If they wanted to make a match that was gonna end in 18 seconds, it should have been that match. Mm-hmm. It would have made one just because the ma- it wasn't a good match, but two, it would have made more sense. But yes. isn't that interesting? Well, 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 let's let's let. Is there anything else on your list there, Josh? Before we move on, uh, yes. Fuck you, freaky. Details. <laughs> There's your details. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, and I know Flyer55 says he didn't like WrestleMania uh, in the chat room as well. So he's with you there. Um, <laughs> to me, I thing. can never not like WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, WrestleMania is Wrestle- Now, this is the, the, we'll, the, we'll get more into WrestleMania talk. Before yeah. that, let's go to Amateur Falling Down, a.k.a. Indie Wrestling News, with the uh, WrestleFan. It's me here for the uh, indie wrestling uh, minute. What am I saying? It's just, Why are you just like acting like you just showed I'm up? Sorry. <laughs> um, first thing Drunk. I'm going to talk about is um, Ring of He's Honor and Chikara are uh, soon coming up. They're going to have their big um, merger uh, show. They'll be having uh, in Chicago, Real Illinois. There will be a Chikara show um, in the afternoon, followed by a Ring of Honor show in the evening. Um, both featuring Ring of Honor and Chikara talent. So that's definitely going to be a very uh, Interesting thing to see. The main event for the Chikara show has been announced, uh, entitled Hot Off the Griddle, uh, which is an amazing name for a show, um, in a Chikara versus Ring of Honor interpromotional showdown for the Chikara Grand Championship, Eddie Kingston defends against Kevin Steen, which uh, that is going to be an uh, amazing matchup. A lot of There was a lot of build to that matchup back at uh, Ring of Honor's last uh, show in New York. Where Kevin Steen offered for uh, offered Eddie Kingston to help him destroy Ring of Honor, um, Eddie Eddie Kingston declined, causing a sort of a stir that uh, happened. And basically, uh, those two are gonna are gonna you know fight it out, possibly, and with the Chikara Grand Championship on the line. So Kevin Steen may be taking Chikara's top championship into Ring of Honor. So that's definitely gonna be uh, interesting to see. You can get your tickets at ChikaraPro.com. Um, uh, bell time is at 2 p.m. at Chicago Real Illinois, uh, April 28th for Hut Off the Griddle. So go check them out. Go support Chicago Pro. Uh, and then next, I'm going to talk about some of the guys in the local uh, Ohio area, uh, our friends at AIW, uh, Absolute Intense Wrestling. They got an event coming up uh, April 6th in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, entitled Straight Out of Compton. Uh, which is the perfect name for a show uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, but that's a whole other story. Uh, main event is a Compton Street fight, which will feature uh, BJ Whitmer, Tim Donst, and friend of the show Johnny Gargano taking on two friends, uh, two other friends of the show in Flexor Industries, Chess Flexor, uh, Bobby Beverly, and the Chad Chad Williams uh, in a Compton Street fight. Go check that show out. There's going to be a lot of great stuff. Um, also some, uh, ACW talent will be on that show. So if you want a taste of what I get to see, uh, down in Texas, you can go check them out and, uh, and tell me what you think. Uh, also in AIW news, uh, they announced, uh, a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago, but now the, it's starting to, uh, sort of take shape. Uh, the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament will be held, uh, Friday and Saturday, May 11th and May 12th in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, for those that don't know, JT Lightning was a very um, important uh, person in a lot of the uh, Cleveland wrestling scene, trained a lot of guys, um, and uh, he sadly passed away uh, this past year. So um, AIW will be paying tribute to the memory of JT Lightning with this invitational tournament. It features a lot of friends of the show of the Wrestling Mayhem show. And also, and like I mentioned, also features some ACW talent, uh, which will get a, they'll get a chance to shine. A lot of great stuff. Like I mentioned, it's the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament, May 11th and May 12th in Cleveland, Ohio. You can go take your tickets. It's definitely going to be an uh, amazing event. Um, so definitely check them out. And that, my friends, is your Indie Minute for this week. Excellent. Thanks, Did Russell. Did anybody fan. time that? No, no, no. Hey, Russell fan? No. Mm-hmm. Yes, Chachi? That was a great Indie Minute. Thank you. Nice job, buddy. It sucked. Whoa. Well, here, no, my, my question here is, um, did did anyone time that and did Wrestle and beat Undertaker to the ring? <laughs> That's a good question. I go. would like to oh, know that. Oh, I did. I yeah. I did the Undertaker pee break and it worked. 
Of no, course no. it did. You could have went and had diarrhea and still be the Undertaker. <laughs> the you know, it, it would be tremendous okay. if we did have like a little I, I animated Undertaker at the bottom of the screen during the indie minute, just going <laughs> down <laughs> the ramp, down the ramp. Fire, every every fire amateur over falling here. down segment starts with a gong, <laughs> and then WrestleMania, WrestleMania starts. WrestleMania starts talking. That's right. Come up near my exactly. Screen. Thanks, WrestleFan. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to all the fans that have uh, chimed in. Uh, we're gonna go check out what's going on in the Gold app this week, and we'll be right back with Remember When. He was trying to save the world from these ancient race of. Horrible things called the Reapers, but no okay. air in the pink in the brain voice is amazing. <laughs> and he Hearing did, he Maurice did, Lamar, he did who plays Brain, go, song what is fucking thing. wrong with you, Pinky? He... <laughs> I have a Spanish ad for Zyrtec. Nice. That's what? interesting. <laughs> so it's completely in Spanish. <laughs> I'm telling you, I make tracks so hard in the snow that cement breaks. Simply by sampling it and made on a cassette tape. Cause my words are so vivid, I'm living Oh my god! I rhyme, but I can even spell the words. Like if you wanna smoke a blunt, but you can roll the herb. Fuck, spoken word, I'm choking, choking, till my throat is hurt. I'm hoping it's open and changing with the open world. Scoping over these things with my fangs for the girl. I said, crack it up, turn that shit and bang it up. I said, crack it up, burn a bitch and slang the stuff. Hi, it's Bo Diggity, and we're about to remember things in the nice little segment we like to call Remember When? Do you remember Brock Lesnar? You probably do from like less than 24 hours ago. But do you remember him before, less than 24 hours ago? I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> he wrestled in the WWE and uh, did very, very well until one fateful night when he wrestled the where he wrestled Goldberg. Wait, hold on, time out, time out. Hold you on. forgot. You you have to mention that this was the one of the first attempts at a once in a lifetime match. Oh, this is the once in a lifetime match. We were gonna have Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg in a match we like to call guys who didn't start as wrestlers and were really football players or juice heads until they actually got to the WWE and then they just continued to be that way until they had a match against each other. Who will win the unstoppable force versus the immovable object? Physics lessons and things like that. Um, but yeah, he. Uh, that was a they, pretty they, long title. Yeah. Yeah, they had this match and uh, it was terrible. This was the last time they tried this crap. This was after Rock Hogan, though, which was awesome. This was after that. And they went, oh, hey, let's uh, let's try this crap again. Let's have two big guys who have very little wrestling ability, kind of throw each other at themselves <laughs> in a ring. This will end well for everyone. Them, I just saw them shoulder, uh, shoulder block each other. What the exactly. fuck was that? And it was terrible. <laughs> you know what this match should have been? Go ahead. This match should have been Big Show's sumo wrestling match. Yes. <laughs> this No, what this should have been? Was a uh, this should have been a boxing match. I think that would have worked out well, <laughs> or maybe a who had the worst football career. Well, the answer to that question, Brock Lesnar. And then the, 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 the part that was worse on top of it was the crowd reactions because we knew that everybody was leaving after this match. So people would just get up and leave. Yeah. They were just like, "This was the last match of the night." And it was so bad that people just got they up. They were and booing. Left. They were booing both men before they even touched each other. Yeah, and the fact that they did this they, at Madison You know why? Because they spent five minutes not touching each other. Yeah. Uh, it's just, just terrible is what it really was. And then both, just to just to solidify how terrible this match was, that this is this should have been a throwaway match on Raw and not hyped up as the, high, the headlining match at WrestleMania 20. Um, Goldberg wins after spearing Lesnar, and then uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was the special guest referee for this match, Stunnered both of them. Basically like, a, all right, we're done here. 
yeah, type of yeah. negated the match. <laughs> Sonic Screwjobs, and uh, it was like watching two walruses dueling on Animal Planet. It was. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> So then wow. uh, after that, uh, Brock Lesnar decided that he was going to go to Japan and wrestled in New Japan Pro Wrestling and won the heavy the IWGP Heavyweight Championship and somehow managed to hold and on And he came to back it. as and, Lord and, Tensai. And... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he came back as Lord Tensai, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. And then he lost oh, okay. it to one that of our sense. favorite drunks in the whole world, Kurt Angle. Puppet. This was his last match as a professional wrestler. Wrestle in Japan. He was there for two years late. He was there for two years and lost to Kurt, Kurt Angle. How many of you remember this little stretch of time? Hands up if you remember this. Nope. That's why. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I have, I have a, 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 side, a side point to this. Go ahead. Hands up if you gave a shit. That's better. Uh, I'm not seeing any hands. That's so, why no one remembers AJ. Right. So <laughs> he goes on to go to MMA. No, no, no. Before that, before okay. that, no. he went to do football. Yes, yeah, he, he tried, tried out. He tried to go play football. Football. And football. Uh, play football. He started minor fights. <laughs> and uh, he apparently sacked uh, quarterback or Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Damon Heward. Uh, he was a late cut after the preseason, and he was invited to play as a representative of the Vikings in the NFL Europe League, but decided to not go. Mm. <laughs> he was probably also contacted by every arena football team ever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Later on, he went to go to. MMA. Uh, he uh, tapped out uh, Min Soo Kim in the K1 Dynamite USA show uh, against Min Soo Kim of Korea in the first mu- minute and nine seconds. Then he went to the UFC hey, and faced actual crappy. fighters. And uh, he was uh, deducted a point for hitting Frank Mir in the back of the head and then was tapped out. And then I think got a title match next. Yep. And uh, he's only in the UFC. Yeah. In UFC, no, he uh, he fought two former heavyweight champions. Uh, he was dropped, or he dropped Herring with a straight right, and uh, then he went on to win by unanimous decision. Third match. Third match. He gets a title fight against Randy Couture. And beat him in T- beat him with a TKO in round two, becoming the champion. Jeez. And then he became Lord Tensai. And then he became <laughs> no. He became broke. Then he became uh, broke. Yeah, and then just basically fought everybody. Eventually, he got diverticulitis and had to resign from the UFC. And then he, he also got beat the hell out of a couple times. Um. So yeah. You know who has a uh, more successful MMA career than Brock Lesnar? Hmm. Uh, who's that? Lord Tensai. Will you stop Orange it Hat with guy. Lord Tensai? <laughs> the Green Ranger. Ooh. Tommy. Yeah, oh, yeah, Tommy has a... Yeah. Tommy more, the Green Ranger. He's more successful. He uses Saba the White Saber. Saba the so White Saber. Oh, by the way, uh, Brooke Lesnar's final MMA career record, 5-3. <laughs> three. Wow. He only had eight matches total in yeah, five or four years. Wow. What was that, so Wheels? He said Brooke. No, I just asked if he really did say Brooke Lesnar. <laughs> uh, however, I will say this. He does have a leg up on all sorts of Attitude Era uh, uh, wrestling fans in that he married Sable. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, boobs true. for him. Yeah. And boobs for him. That. That makes up for everything. And, uh, yeah, so then he's uh, back in the WWE and gave the F5 to John Cena, which uh, we'll also have a nice remember when. Um, John Cena stole the F5 move and turned it into the AA, which is a, a fireman's carry carryover slam, whereas well, first the, F5 the F5 actually spins a bit. 
Um, but he First stole it on FU purpose there. from Brock Lesnar and called it the FU. Yeah, I think it was it was a like they had a feud early on. They had a, ver- a feud very yeah. early on. Yeah. Where, where? And uh, because of that, he that's where John Cena got the uh, FU and thus the AA mm-hmm. attitude adjustment. Um, I, uh, what I'm hoping for is that because Brock Lesnar is back, uh, that Paul Heyman is back. Also, by the way, uh, you know how uh, Evan Bourne does a shooting star press? Yeah. Do you know why he had? To, do you know uh, what he had to do to go through to get to do the shooting star press? <laughs> There's a point to this. Really yes, know. there is. He, he probably... had to do the. He had to do it ten times onto a very large mat in a row to prove that he wouldn't hurt himself. Do you know why they had to have him do that? Because <laughs> they almost killed Brock Lesnar with that move. Because they almost killed Brock Lesnar with a shooting yeah. star press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was there was uh, yeah. there was WrestleMania 19, I believe, against Kurt yep. Angle. I, uh, everybody knew that he could do it because I guess he used to do it in OVW, but yes. he had never done it up until this yeah. point. He 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 busted it out, and ended up jamming his head into the side of Kurt Angle and the mat. Yep. Uh, I think <laughs> Ric Flair was quoted as saying that if he didn't have all that muscle. Around his neck, he, he wouldn't be walking. Mm-hmm. That was yeah, actually this, a good feud, though. I remember it so was. It, so, it, the, so in a testament to Kurt Angle's uh, wrestling ability, he had to improvise the finish of the match. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you could tell he was not loopy. We was he was looking around. He had no idea what was going on. Uh, yeah. No, that's just normal look. <laughs> so, anyways, hey, remember that? <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, AJ. <laughs> Uh, it's a good way to segue us into into Lesnar's being around, I guess. Uh, but also, and also, let's segue into Mad Mike's minute of mayhem, and we'll be right back here on the Mayhem Show. Greetings, Wrestling Mayhem Show fans and friends. This is Mad Mike here, once again, with your Minute of Mayhem. I'm not going to talk about WrestleMania right now. You're going to save that for an email for the guys because there's a lot to talk about. I'm here to ask, plead, beg, control if I have to for your vote for Mayhemi for Host of the Year. Do you know why I deserve Host of the Year? You should know why I deserve Host of the Year because I'm awesome. The other guys are awesome too, but they don't deserve it as much as I do. You see, Chachi, Chachi's walked down the show more times than I can even count. Granted, I can only count to this many, but Chachi has walked down the show repeatedly, and he'll do it again. He doesn't do it for the fans, he does it for himself, goddammit, he's a selfish little bastard. Sorg, Sorg is just there, he bilks you out of your money day in and day out, he tells you to buy the app, $1.99 at iTunes, Android, and all those other markets, he tells you to do things, he tells you to donate to the show, even though there's no more donate button, he tells you to do all that shit, he just wants your goddamn money. LB, um, well, all right, LB's kind of cool, but, um, WrestleFan, fuck him! Fuck WrestleFan! WrestleFan doesn't deserve shit because he's a goddamn fetus, and he doesn't know anything about the wrestling profession without looking up in his remember box! Now, me? Do you know what I do for you people, week in and week out? I'm making money now! I actually have a job, a profession, yet I waste time out of my precious day getting ready for work to come here and talk to you. Do you know what I do every week for you Wrestling Mayhem Show fans? I watch TNA like twice if I have to. It It's really, it's taking a toll on me. I report on it every week because those fuckers on the live show don't want to do it. Sure, they may talk about TNA. But I'm sure they just read the fucking results. I watch every single goddamn TNA, and if you vote for Mad Mike for Mayhem Host of the Year, I promise you that I will continue to do all that I have done, and more. So much more than that. Also, if I don't win a Mayhem, I'm gonna burn down the studio. Just, just saying. Peace, bitches! Mayhem fans. I would just like to point out that the other candidates for this for this award are slinging mud. Not once have I said not, anything oh, bad wait, this one. about anyone that I'm going up against in the category. I, I haven't all slung, I, all I haven't I'm saying mud because I know I'm not fucking winning. All I'm saying is that a vote for Chachi and AJ mm-hmm. is a vote for America, freedom, 
and cute critters. Goddamn right. I started negative. I'm going to be really honest. I started negative. I really did. I did. I started yeah, negative. And I, I went I at Riz. Back to... Riz and I went at it. But you know uh, what? I turned the cheek. You see this cheek right here? Turned. Right there. I decided I was going to go positive. You want to bro, bro hug it out? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I snapped on hey, you. Hey, I ready? Said ready? Was... ready? Ready? Hug ready? Hug it out. Ready? Ready? Go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm hugging. Oh. I'm hugging from a distance. I'm hugging. I'm I just hugging. said it was. Bro hugs. Bro hugs. We got you. The fists. And I just said it was an honor to be no I just. The only thing I didn't like was the voting. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorg is the one that wanted voting. the actual voting system for the website. We could just email the vote so everyone and gets one vote. The only one that's yelling. That's just his that's tone. That's Google's tone. That's just his tone. Well, because I'm defending myself. You know what? Do we just, do we just say phone. do we just say here that we're just going to change this to an email thing, and then we actually have a deadline? Well, and that if that's you what email, we did originally. Good times, we good did times. an email yeah, thing, com. but Sorg wants us to do like the actual poll thing, and there's no way for me to say I, I'm everyone liking the gets poll one thing. vote. And, and I think thing. the poll thing works, and uh, we'll just have to, you know, I mean, somebody gets blasted with like uh, thousands of, 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 of <laughs> you know, that that's obviously wrong. Freaky. I know. I can, I, I I can look at the bar. thing and I can have a good idea of people who vote more than once. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a. There's a, there's a, there's a there, it could no, be especially when one 4, person 000. gets voted for every three, like in three second consecutive. But either way, hey, go over wrestlingmayhemshow.com, click on the Mayhemies, go make your vote. Uh, everybody's making their case, and uh, they will be. I will hey, keep fan? it open for oh, another, another week or oh, two wheels. here, and I'll be it. Uh, so hey, Russell fan. What's up? Yes, I, I would just like to point out that it's definitely not me that's posting for uh, best <laughs> write-in moment of the year where I Chachi made Russell fan cry. I know. I, I, I wonder. I wonder. Who, it's who definitely who not that. me. I am not doing that. Not me. Uh, Wait, did it's, I miss inter- it's interesting. You yeah. know of that uh, that vote response since I'm the only one that sees the results. So that's 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 very interesting. I, I I'm a. Uh, I, I'm giving you something to laugh at. <laughs> because I know you laugh as soon as you open it up and you see it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's bring it around here. Oh. When he unzips his pants. Oh, oh. oh. So, uh, th- we, uh, we had, thanks to AJ, we, we, we had a, a new experience this weekend. That's a bad way to start that. <laughs> are we on? Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are we starting the show back? Are we already back? I, on? And I started it with Chachi. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, we have an experience so, uh, this weekend. All right. But no, I, I wrote up an oh, I wrote up a, wrote up an yeah. article at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com that I threw up yesterday, uh, uh, entitled "Are WWE's Online Pay Per Views Worth Paying For?" Now, uh, AJ, you hit us up here and said, "Hey, let's do this thing." Yeah, and, I wanted to throw a party. Yeah, at Sorg's house, so uh, <laughs> I opened my wallet. And my heart uh, to uh, and, buy and the WWE sad. online pay per view because Sorg doesn't have cable. Nope. So uh, had let, he had cable, we would have just bought that just straight up, and we would all just had a good time. Uh, but in this in this instance, uh, I just bought the online one, so we got to have a review of this with WrestleMania, to arguably their biggest pay per view. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Let me write. Let me write. Their biggest pay per view of the year. There's no arguably in there. Uh, so obviously we got to see how their system performs under load. We got to see how well it works and it was pretty, it was all right. We it's never right. worried about the stream going down or going away no. or, no. oh man, I hate you, yeah. Dude, Britain, who's wonderfully providing this crap for free on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> we got to watch it legally. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. There was definitely, cause I mean, would, you know, I let, you know, disclaimer, I, I think most of us here have, have experienced the live, you know, uh, free streams out there on the internet uh, to get our, our wrestling fill on our budgets. Um, but, and because they're so easy to get to, let's be honest. But yeah, there is that like worrying about. That's why I don't hook it up to my TV because it's like, oh, that the uh, great. Now I have to switch to a different stream because this one, something happened here or this one's getting cruddy. Uh, but it was nice to just sit there and forget for a bit that it was coming from online. Yeah. Uh, and, mm-hmm. and it was stable and it was great. You know, I was kind of worried about it. I was like, I, yeah, are they, this is the biggest one of the year. Is the load going to hold out on it? Um, and as you can see, like in the picture on, on the article, uh, we had my MacBook Pro, which is, uh, which is recording this very show. Um, and it was hooked up via HDMI. Uh, we had to hook up some other speakers since I have an older Mac and the HDMI won't carry audio and stuff, but it looked pretty nice in uh 720p on, on, on a 42 inch television. 
And, and, and other than that, I mean, there was it was noticeably we paid fifty four ninety five. Uh, I'm finding at certain places that was the price for the SD feed, but like uh, our friend on Twitter at Charman says, uh, he paid sixty four ninety five for an SD feed on Comcast mm -hmm. and even didn't, didn't even oh, see wow. an HD version uh, wow. available to him. So, and I guess it does vary depending on. I saw um, next day I saw you could pick it up on FiOS for fifty one ninety nine. I don't know if that was HD or SD. I don't know if they they lower because the uh, uh, replay or something like that. I never seen them do that in the past. Um, so again, your marriage, your, your, your mileage is going to vary depending on what cable company you have, direct TV, satellite, whatever, uh, what you actually paid for. And apparently there's a giant 10, $15 window in this thing. But so it was 54 95. It was an HD, which is sad. Cause we were watching, like we mentioned earlier, the YouTube pre-show streamed live. Uh, they were streaming last week's, uh, Cena rock, uh, special. Uh, that ran on USA, and it looked tremendous. Chachi, you were there. You watched a bunch of that with me. Yeah, it looked it looked amazing. It was 720p via it YouTube. Was, uh, it looked um, like you said, amazing, especially blown up on the yeah. TV from the laptop. Yeah, like, definitely. You, you and, couldn't and then, tell because I missed that part. Uh, I stayed after, and Sorg had Sorg pulled up uh, NXT, mm -hmm. which is on uh, YouTube. I mean, I understand. I'm pulling up. This is how I'm watching my wrestling a lot of times is, is pulling it up on YouTube to catch all the shows that they do have. Um, or if I have my Xbox, I'm pulling up SmackDown. I'm watching Daily Show. I've watched Daily Show on my Xbox on Hulu at 720. And uh, it looks better than going across the street and watching on DirecTV on my neighbor's house. It, yeah, it, it does. I've done the comparison. Um, and, uh, it, well, OK, and going to the stream itself. They claim it to be a three megabyte stream. And you're getting a little technical here, of course, uh, which I'm like, OK, but they don't say anything about HD. They say it's fine for web video. And I think if you looked at it on full screen on a, on the laptop screen here, you know, the 15 inches versus the 42, a lot of the stuff wouldn't have been as noticeable as it was for us. Uh, but blowing up the 42, you definitely see a lot of things breaking up, a lot of digitization as you went along. Um, especially like in the cage or if there's a lot of graphics or fireworks going on, or, you know, when they throw out the strobe lights. But as I mentioned, like we were talking about this, I've, I've bought the pay-per-view in HD on cable, on Comcast, on even Fios. And it isn't even supposed to be that compressed. And the same thing happens there, guys. So that's not so bad. It's obviously not HD. Um, now, Wheels, you had an experience where you got to see it on a bunch of big screens. And from what you understand, you were on the same feed, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I was on the same feed. It, I mean, I agree with you. I, I saw the same things you were seeing with them being on, like, projected screens. And it was in HD. It looked great. But like you said, you could see a lot of, like... Little things when the fireworks went off. It wasn't I mean, perfect. It got digitized every once in a while, yeah. But, I mean, other than that, it was great. I said they should do the video games and stuff up here because it turned out really nice, and they should do more pay-per-views more often for mm -hmm. the college students <laughs> like that. Where I watched it, we watched it on DirecTV, and it kind of went wonky every once in a while. So, I mean, I guess it didn't matter <laughs> Yeah, when you watched it. That's the thing. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, you know, how many times have we sat there and, and the cable companies have won all this? I actually, LB, were you with us that one time we were getting Survivor Series with Chad and Dave? And it, uh, yeah, yeah, and, I remember that. Because didn't it end up we couldn't get it at all and we just sat around like bouncing a ball around the room or something? Yeah, yeah. There, I, there, I, there, I, think, <laughs> I think there's a video of that online. Because <laughs> yeah, I remember that because I, I remember taking that video because we were bored as shit. Yeah. That was the time I when I, uh, I did information 411 and tried to call Vince McMahon in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> so we made something of it. But, I mean, you look at he, the reliability. He of just it. told you to fuck off, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I remember something along those lines. There was a lot of shouting going on, and uh, I heard crying in the background. So I was watching, uh, I was watching <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus uh, Van Damme. For the Intercontinental Championship on YouTube, oh, <laughs> a little Nate just whooped Paul Heyman's ass. <laughs> Sorry, nice, nice. A little off. By the way, part. if you're not following Cranky Vince on Twitter, shame, a shame and a pox upon you, because it was on. Literally, the Twitter account lit my phone on fire on Sunday night. <laughs> 
It was amazing. It was a good time. It, it, it proves that you don't need cable in order to see this stuff, except for maybe Raw, unless you steal it. Um, I mean, and that's the, really the only piece of the puzzle missing. Now, WWE could do better. And really, I'm hoping since they're doing so much stuff, we talked on Awesome Cast earlier tonight that WWE is one of the, the uh, main content partners for this new initiative YouTube has going on. They're obviously doing the live stream stuff. They did press conferences. They have new stuff with the uh, Are You Serious, with Santino's Exchange, with uh, the Zack Ryder Show. Yeah, uh, like I mean, they're, they're pushing the, uh, for it. And I know w, the, uh, YouTube has been wanting to do pay-per-views. Actually, you can pay-per-view movies on there right now, I believe. So when are we going to get to this day when you, you marry that live stream with this and I can pay my a you know horrible amount for YouTube stuff, get it on YouTube in full 720p, and hell... Can I get that on my Xbox? Since you do already have a YouTube app, but I don't think they do the live stuff on it yet that I'm aware of. I, I haven't yeah. found it. That doesn't mean it's not there. Um, so yeah, I, I was gonna say I wasn't I wasn't home to do that uh that press conference. Well, no, my, my uh, Xbox wasn't set up at the time mm-hmm. to do uh, the YouTube because I finally got the wireless thing, and I would have loved to check out that uh, press conference on the YouTube, but I tried it on the laptop and it was great. So I'm kind of waiting to see what next thing they'll do so I can test it to see if it's on Mm -hmm. the Xbox. And this is, you know, and this is the first time that um, it wasn't hard for me to find the online pay-per-view because that was always buried in there. It seems like, I don't know if it was the new site design or something like that, but they really seemed, you said you, you went to WrestleMania's website and there's a button that said order pay-per-view and it went straight to the live streaming one. And you can buy all the old pay-per-views for like 20 bucks a piece, which is like DVD price. That's fine. I think. And, and AJ, now you, you use the account AJ to, to, to get this. Are you still able to stream it? Uh, hold on. Let me go look. I mean, cause, and that's another interesting, like I, it seems like you buy them and you you can you have indefinite rights to stream this. Uh, if I could go to WWE.com and not WW.com, which <laughs> is not a website, apparently. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, I would like to. Um, I don't, I don't want to click purchase. I get, okay, wait, hold on. Log in. There we go. And then uh, uh, that, and then that password, which was fun to type. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that. And, okay. I like how and then someone play now. That. You have met the limit for the number of times your purchase allows you to view this item. Please renew or repurchase this item if you would like to oh. access it. And I would have to pay oh, another no. fifty four ninety five. But to be fair, you, you did Eat it. You did have a couple replays or a time period in order to replay it, which a lot of pay per views. No, do. I don't think I did. Uh, I don't think I did. I, I got might have one dropped shot. I might have dropped in to get a screen cap after you left. So apparently, all right. Well, then you get one. Apparently, apparently you got uh, one you shot. Stole it, you I asked. stole it. <laughs> well, you didn't use it. So how long do I have? You have. Um, Okay, you have 30 days to begin watching the pay-per-view after you've purchased it. Once you've started to watch the pay-per-view, you have 24 hours to finish watching it. You can watch the pay-per-view as many times as you want within the 24-hour period. Is, so, is. from watching watch, it from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah, one cent at a time. Yeah, I, I, I had to... I, had to I, had, I could have watched it up until 11 p.m. Uh, Monday night, so but, I could have watched it like right before Raw. But that's still. I would have watched all of the WrestleManias. <laughs> all right, just that one over and over and over again. But so but, now I have a premium <laughs> WWE account. <laughs> okay, I still have to buy everything regularly. The premium means you pay us premium amounts of money. Yeah, you're paying. It's so, it was fifty four ninety five, which is it, it's of that's, my, it's of my hard earned dollar bills. And that's pay per view money. Um, and 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 I was looking around because I, I was curious what uh, uh, TNA does. TNA does theirs through the TNA on demand service. It seems yeah. so. They have again their own thing, and I haven't seen any of the on demand stuff to see what quality it looks like. I, I presume it's what you see, like you know, in these preview videos that are on here. I'm actually curious about doing that that way as well. Um, I it, will say this though: once they once they go like past a month, yeah. Um. The price drops to twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. 
And so the I, real one is 50, the regular one is 54, and then when you go to do the replays a month later, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, because I saw it has like Royal Rumble and everything in there. Yep. So, um, and, and I think I think that's cool, and it's another way to deliver that. It's like, hey, I want to go watch Royal Rumble. Oh, 20 bucks here, uh, versus I could go get the DVD for, you know, 15 to 20 at Walmart, let's say. So that kind or of, via uh, iTunes, you can also get a digital copy via iTunes of all the WWE pay per view DVDs. So and it's the same. It's like twenty bucks. So instead okay. of watching it that one time for thirty for a twenty four hour period, you can just have it forever. Yeah, exactly. And I, I wonder if those ones are a twenty four period as well. No, no, the ones from uh, WWE. Yeah, on iTunes. No, on, on WWE dot com when they go back a month. Oh, I don't know. It's I, I don't want to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it is. I'm really yeah. guessing that it is. You're thinking it is 24 period? Yeah, I think it's 24. I think it's 24 hours again. Mm, that would that'd be iffy. Uh, so, I mean, and, and it's weird when it, it feels like they're not listening to what everybody else is doing when they do something like this. Um, but and, and I got to say, TNA is really, you know, much like WWE had the problem before because TNA like mentions on their site, uh, like in the in the graphics and everything for lockdown go check it out go go get it at tna on demand.com but you drop on to tna like on demand.com and there's no mention about buying pay-per-views here none of this clicks through hey. nothing happens here until you hit click launch and you get the player but i think a lot of people are going to be stopped at this first step here and then you click the live pay-per-view mm-hmm. and it kind of makes sense from there actually wait maybe it doesn't because okay, you got the video telling me about lockdown, and then oh, then it has you log in. So like, oh, by the way, the uh, the elimination chamber HD feed on iTunes mm-hmm. is fifteen bucks, and it's broken up into individual matches, so oh. you don't have to on worry YouTube. about all that crap on YouTube. No, on uh, iTunes. On, oh, iTunes. Uh, on iTunes. Well, that's so nice. when you buy it, you get. Uh, five episodes, which has all of the matches, hmm. and then you can watch the individual matches, and you don't have to fast forward through the show. So, if I so you could just, I could just buy the raw. To. And the other nice part about this is you can just buy the individual matches. Mm-hmm. So I could pay three bucks and get the CM Punk uh, Elimination Chamber match. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So like, like if something happens like Money in the Bank, and all you're really interested in this was in the CM Punk thing. For, like, right. was seen a thing and was like, well, I'm going to see that. You're going to drop you three bucks instead of the whole thing. And that's, right. and that's nothing the, they advertise. You never even hear that they're on iTunes to that respect. Right. Yeah, and that, it, the other thing about, about this is that it sets it up options. as a season. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, you just, the when you buy the season, you get all buy the episodes. Episodes. Let, it, let AJ go here. Yeah. So whenever you buy the season, you get all you get all five or eight episodes or however many matches there were on the card. Okay. But you can then each buy it. You can buy the individual matches for three. So in the in the if you buy the standard def version it's only 10 bucks uh-huh so you could go back and watch all of the individual matches and if you buy all the individual matches they all add up to the price of the season so you're not saving any money buying the season yeah it, it just you got it collectively right mm-hmm. so and, and i think tna does the same thing as well that they have they, they have something like that where they they've had their old shows on there um but really, as far as that goes, like I almost think you're better off paying the. I mean, God, the, the TNA service is ten bucks for three months at this point. And you see, they got the live. I don't like this though. It says live pay per view event, but it doesn't say what event you're buying. I'm presuming just the next one. Yeah. But you can get a full access ticket to the entire year of pay per views for four hundred nineteen dollars and forty cents. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. does that break down to? <laughs> wow. That breaks down to not enough I, money. It, it, is breaks, what it sounds it, like. It, it has to break down to thirty four ninety five a piece because I don't think they have any varying prices on their pay per views. Thirty four ninety one six. Uh, thirty four ninety one six repeating. Wow. So yeah, it's like that's, they that's yeah thirty four ninety five a month there. gets you everything so, for the year. Uh, How much do you love TNA? If it's really like what it comes down to. The answer to that question is not not enough. really that much. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, some people are. Come on. I mean, somebody's going to be. Into I would this. love to know how many, uh, like, if the WWE, if there's somebody inside of the WWE who's saying, okay, listen, WWE.com pay per view buys were this many. Mm-hmm. 
how much do they play into the overall buy rates? Are they getting 150,000 buy rates and like, I don't know, 5,000 are the regular online ones? It's or be... is it there are 150,000 buys and there's 25 to 30,000 buys? Oops. Sorry? Are the WWE.com side. <clears throat> you know, how many are in there? Because that to me, if it's only like 5,000, cut the price and see how many buys you get. Because mm-hmm. trust me, the mm-hmm. shareholders are listening for those numbers. Yeah, yeah. they want to know that they're that they're getting the buys through all the way, and not, you know, if they got another fifty, if they got another twenty five or thirty thousand buys year over year because they cut the price of the online pay per views mm-hmm. from fifty five to thirty five or even thirty, I'd buy. I'd have a much yeah. easier time convincing yeah. myself to buy it than exactly. I would if it were fifty-five or forty-five. It's lower in that bar, but I, I think I think like we discussed the other night. Um, I think there's something going on where they can't undercut the pay-per-view companies by so much because they have to have those relationships with the Direct TVs and the Comcast and the Invent Ticket or whatever they use. Um, right? They can't. I don't think they can undercut them. I mean, I there's, really there's got to be some kind of stipulation there. Um, or, or it's just a matter of we don't want to piss them off to start pulling our stuff. So Because they're not the powerhouse. I mean, they're good, but they're not the absolute powerhouse right now. UFC is. UFC is the one that can make the rules if they wanted to and yep. make new rules. Um, WWE yeah. is not in a position to do that anymore if they wanted to play around like they used to. Because this is in the 80s when they were the, on the cutting edge. Um, they could be Did on the cutting figure? edge. Yeah. No, I was going to say, and you figure, I mean, 10 bucks off of the cable price is still not that bad. I mean, no, no. I mean, at least you feel people it. People aren't even, they're not even worried about that. If it's you, like, if you, I wouldn't even mind paying that. Yeah. If you feel, and this one seems like a lot more because it was WrestleMania and they always hop up the price. Um, but it, as long as you feel like you're getting a deal out of this. Uh, you know. I just found uh, I, I googled WWE pay per view contract, found sample business contracts, and found the 1999 pay per view license agreement for WWE. <laughs> wow, that was way too. Wow. That was far <laughs> too wow. easy. That was. I mean, it was really easy. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a very long document uh, that's supposed to get confidential <laughs> treatment. <laughs> Um, and the license fee payable to the distributor shall be calculated by multiplying the distributor's revenue percentage as defined in section 9.3 which is <laughs> that's a lot of jargon that's going through my brain right now but we'll have to, we'll have to push that to the resident uh, uh, Bayham show lawyer and get it figured out then Oh, they pulled all the real David numbers Otunga? out. That's some jank oh, nonsense. Read David oh. Otunga. Attorney right at Raw. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm, I'm, playing, I'm bouncing around the site trying to figure out how to get back to the pay-per-view page. Because re- the WrestleMania <laughs> page Lord. is all coverage. And there's no, like, if I want to watch this. Like, not even for replays or anything. Can we get Lord Tensai as our attorney? <laughs> no, we need David Otunga. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's Albert, and he looks like Asian. Oh wow! They, no, they specifically <laughs> like say Asian. they specifically say how much the so uh, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, King of the Ring, and Survivor Series from 1997 to 1998 had a a bunch of different percentages than the regular in your house did. So they were completely different numbers that were being used. So the like the big five were being sold for a much higher rate than the In Your House series. And this is defined in their contract. Hmm. So you there you why? go. There's you a little knowledge why? from 1997 and 1998. You know why? Todd Pettengill. Todd Pettengill. Todd there Pettengill. Go. There you go. All right. Anything else you want to touch base on with WrestleMania? I know we said we get back to 100 chicken McNuggets. That's all. <laughs> That's about it. That's all you need to know. Hey, add mine in for 140. Oh, and, and this. And what? This picture right here. That guy really has disturbed oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yellow yes, hat guy. 
orange hat guy. Orange hat guy. Orange, 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 orange. Orange. So he doesn't know. Color. I'm sorry. I'm on Curious George mode apparently. Uh, but yeah, orange hat guy isn't even watching the match. He's just looking at directly into the camera. <laughs> Stealing my heart is what it's he was doing. Soul. Here's a look at the hundred chicken McNuggets that we had this yeah, past we week. We had one hundred mm-hmm. chicken McNuggets. How happy, how we happy had, were they with you at, at We had mine in. It was a um, it was amazing because uh, Sork picked me up for the pay per view, and he was like, "I'm gonna pick you up at this time because I'm kind of worried about the whole chicken nugget sit." <laughs> And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll call them now. And so at 3.30, I called them. Mike uh, Sorg picked me up at 5.30. That was a two-hour notice for 100 chicken nuggets. And so I called them. Mm-hmm. I gave them my name. I gave them my number. I said, I, I started to call. I'm like, all right, so this is going to be kind of weird, but I want five <laughs> 20 pieces. And I'm calling you ahead of time because I don't want to walk in and order 520 pieces and completely screw you guys. And they're like, all right, what's your name? And I give them my name. And they're like, what's your number? And I gave them my number. And they're like, all right, we'll see you at 530. And I walked in, and they weren't ready. Uh, And and the funny thing is, I put the order in. or like I, I was like, I walked in. I was like, yeah, I called in an order earlier. Uh, it's under Anthony, and who's uh, Anthony? Uh, uh, one of the uh, the people working was like, "He's here," and all <laughs> all of a sudden, oh. all of a sudden, people from all over the restaurant were peeking out from little 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 hidey holes <laughs> to see the guy <laughs> that ordered one hundred chicken McNuggets and called ahead to do so. Yes. I think is the key there. <laughs> hey, I was being nice. Okay. Go. I will say, as a former job, employee of McDonald's, uh, they would get prank calls all the time to make food. In addition to just getting blindsided by uh, like a tour bus of people showing up, mm-hmm. and it was just like frantic, get as much food out, you know, get all the food out as quickly as you can. And so, if somebody calling in for a hundred chicken nuggets, they were probably like, "Yeah, right." What a prank. I'll take your name and number, but whatever. Because they didn't expect you to show up. And Obviously. then when you did, everybody went, oh, shit, did we actually have to do that? Oh, that's like three bags. We dude. actually have like 30 nuggets shit? a bag. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and I mean, I worked at Wendy's and we had people call in for like uh, hundreds of junior bacon cheeseburgers all the time. And we filled that order. Like, no one ever pranked us for that. They were stuff. probably pissed you guys weren't they were probably pissed you guys weren't at epic, epic meal time. <laughs> yeah, I would probably. like to order a so hundred chicken nuggets like when you... and all the sauce. <laughs> What's that, Wheels? Mm-hmm. Sauce. I was going to say, how long did it take when they found out, oh, God, it's not a joke. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, they, were, got there. they were pretty prepared um, because the five pieces are actually, or the 20 pieces are actually on sale. So it worked out because originally, originally I told Mike when this whole thing started going, like because AJ sent out feeds saying, "Hey, I got the pay per view. You clowns bring food and drinks and stuff." I did say that, and so I, I told because I I happened to be with Sorg. I'm like, I'm bringing like 800 chicken McNuggets, and <laughs> and then like two days later, I'm sitting around watching TV and I see a commercial for. Uh, five dollar twenty pieces. And I'm like, it's a sign. <laughs> By the way, they refer to it as Nugget and then, Mania. And then you, and then you pointed to yeah, the sign. sign. Yeah, I I pointed to the sign and made. Still eight hundred. Eight hundred was still. Well, there was outrageous. also there was also a, who was it? Cheat the Moon on Twitter that said his friend almost got arrested for ordering a thousand. Yeah. I want to know how that went. Well, actually, how do you resp- get arrested for ordering? He, wow. he 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 responded to me because I was wondering the same thing, mm-hmm. and he said that uh, it was like two o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. and McDonald's only sells value meals at that time. Yeah, and he was pissed off. And he's like, "Fine, I want like one thousand chicken McNuggets," mm-hmm. and they th- they called the cops on him, and the cops were like, uh, <laughs> "If you don't calm down, we're gonna arrest you." 
Okay, so he was being belligerent. And okay, he, okay. And, he, and he was like, for what? Ordering chicken McNuggets? And, uh, yeah. Wow. I, I want to point out here, because I wanted to bring up a picture of Orange Hat Guy that we were talking about. And uh, the first, and I, I, I typed in in Google, Orange Hat Guy WrestleMania. And I did turn off, uh, so it's not all personal stuff. And the first hit is Mikey. And yeah. uh, the third is, uh, DJ <laughs> Lunch, is DJ Lunchbox. How am I not on that list? <laughs> So, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I posted a shitload about him because I was trying to get hashtag orange hat guy to trend. <laughs> and now you're on Google for it. There you go. Uh, yeah. Funny enough, there was a guy who apparently uh, went to Red Wings games and he was a black guy who wore an orange hat. Apparently he died in the NHL paid tribute to him with a video on NHL.com. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so we were fan watching during WrestleMania and a little bit last night during Raw, I guess. Um, well, that's because Green Hat Guy was back. Green Hat Guy. Green Hat Guy. Yeah, there's, there's a guy Green in the front guy row, a few seats down from Orange Hat Guy, who was not as interesting as Orange Hat Guy. Um, <laughs> no, for, no, the problem was... But he, was, he wore a green hat, so that's He was enough. more interesting because he actually did stuff. Well, we were less interested in Green <laughs> Hat Guy because he was doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was back last night. Oh, internet culture! On I, I got. I, I I really gotta say that that was one of the best raws I've seen in a while. Well, it's always yeah, really it good the really day really after. Good. Like I, I don't know, like it, like top to bottom, I think raw was really awesome. Like just I, I yeah, didn't have this said it really wasn't. one problem with anything they did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like well, so it was really Santino really good stuff. And, uh, what, what's Curtis that? Clay. What's that, Bobby? <laughs> We said, we said that Santino and Bruce Clay wasn't going to top anything after that, and it was actually a really good draw. It was. It still it didn't was. top it. Yeah. But still, it didn't top. It, it still no. didn't top it, but yeah, it Brutus was Bruce Clay headbutted Dolph <laughs> Ziggler out of midair on the ramp. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. I will so. say, that's the one thing, because I know we mentioned, we mentioned Brock Lesnar, and we mentioned the fact that Brock Lesnar returned. This is the thing. I and I don't want I don't want to see a feud. They can just have a match. They can just have a match on Raw or whatever. I want to see a match between Brock Lesnar and Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. And I want to see Brock Lesnar beat the holy hell out of him and Ziggler sell everything like he sells everything <laughs> else. Yeah, yeah. Zig- Ziggler is definitely becoming the new Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels as far as selling. Yeah, he could sell water to a whale. Yeah, when it's he- unbelievable. <laughs> It is. He did that flip out of the corner of yes. the match. It was ridiculous. And landed on his face. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. It was well done by a man who wears an ass cape. <laughs> did anyone see it? Also, I I'd like to point out that Billy after Gunner, WrestleMania, uh, backstage at WrestleMania, there was a picture on the Twitters. Hmm? And it had. Yes. Dolph Ziggler, and according to the tweet, his dad. The picture was Dolph Ziggler and the original ass man he got. <laughs> yeah, every, because everyone other. makes fun of Dolph Ziggler that he's just a, a newer version of Billy Gunn, but I think and he's much was, better. It was amazing. It was, it, and, and the uh, the tweet went, ass man to ass cape. <laughs> and the tweet <laughs> came from none other than WWE Road Dog. Nice. Nice. So, was it, oh, it was from Road Dog. Okay, it was from Road Dog. So yeah, Road thought, Dog did it, and it was did. hilarious. And I, I was like, that was a solid jab at yourself. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. <laughs> but honestly, he's better than Billy Gunn. Yes, he has the same tights, or, or sort of the same tights. Yes, he uses the Fame Maser. Yes, or Fame. Yeah. Uh, yes, he has blonde hair, but he's so much better. Fame Yeah, yeah, he is. He is <laughs> definitely. Um. He, he just kind of has the look, and I think that's all you can really go on there. So, yeah. Wow. Well, anything else from WrestleMania? He goes from skirt Squad to Ass Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, we could see Brutus Clay's mama. <laughs> oh yeah, that was uh, awesome. Oh, I don't care yeah, what yeah. anyone oh, said. Got Brutus uh, Clay's mama. Urge drunk. Um, it was the actually pretty dancers. funny to see uh, Bobby. You did, uh, did the you people like it? in the crowd who were actually you didn't like calling it, did you, Bobby? What was that, AJ? Bobby, it was really funny like to see it, people in the crowd actually call right. their mamas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, it, Let me it, tell it, you, it was better. Honestly, Brody's Clay being at WrestleMania in general is just awesome. All right. Hey, I, hey, hey, hang on to having a, having a second conversation over there. What's up, Bobby? 
Uh, Brodus Clay's mom is better than Grace Helbig. Oh, say it in her face. Riz? <laughs> wow. All right. No, no, no. I, was just, I was just asking Bobby if if he it didn't okay. like that spot. It was okay. But it, so it, 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 like, it was great to see Brodus be at WrestleMania and all that. Mm-hmm. And then they did the thing with the, the, the mama coming out. I'm like, this is kind of funny. It's yeah, kind of weird yeah. that they're doing this. Then it got and surreal. then the chorus line... A, a black, big butted, you know, mamas comes out and dances in unison. That's what made that segment amazing. Why not? Why not? So but they could have devoted it to the other match that was eighteen I, seconds. That yeah, could have had nightmares just like that. <laughs> I have stuff to say about that match. I'm not because honestly, that I match have, got Daniel I, Bryan so much over. I don't know. I think. Uh, I I, yeah, yeah. Did the, 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 that did more for Daniel Bryan than if he would have had a five star match at this point. Yeah, that's true. Because that reaction, yeah, that, that yeah, reaction it Monday night it was really re- did. ridiculous. <laughs> it wasn't. Yes, I don't think. I don't think it was. Their, it obviously wasn't WWE's intention to do. That's why they had the eighteen, you know, second I don't, match. No, no. But it, it sure. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it sure it, invoked the crowd. There's no way. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right there. Oh, you can't really read that. essence. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I, I, I've had it up here all night waiting for a moment to show it off. But yeah, uh, the, <laughs> the, that the yes, yes, yes has become a thing after how lame everybody thought it was at the beginning, which is how these things go. And just like, they're just like, yep. okay, that's lame. And then it just turns around to acceptance to the entire crowd chanting it ridiculously all night long. <laughs> yeah. The best was, the, honestly, the best was when Alberto Del Rio was out. And not and not just because of the fact that they chanted C, which is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. for the fact that, like, like oh, that was, we're going to try to set up this match between Alberto Del Rio and Sheamus. Show. And they're like, fuck that. Where's Daniel Bryan? Mm-hmm. And the, to the point where their chants were overriding the promo in the ring. <laughs> 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 yes, this anime gift that Chachi found is amazing. Uh, for those on the audio, it's a, it's an eight bit Daniel wow. Bryan uh, going yes, yes, yes. Uh, do, we, sadly, do we have the video of uh, the one Chachi suggested? I, I don't know what, what was that, AJ. Uh, sadly, this didn't come true. I was just going back and reading the best and worst of Raw, uh, written by the great Brandon Stroud. Uh, the top ten comment comments of the week. Uh, at some point on Sunday, I would like our truth to yell, "You can't handle the truth!" At David Otunga. Um, that was oh, from Stone. Uh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> and that was from Stone Cold Jane Austen. So, <laughs> <laughs> you saying something, uh, Robbie? Play my clip. No, 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 no. I was laughing at Stone Cold Jane Austen. The one I yeah. sent to the Twitter account. Play my clip. Oh, I, okay, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, I said I said Stone Cold Jane Austen and uh, Lady Lunchbox started shouting from the next room. <laughs> <laughs> is that <laughs> is that her pet name? Uh, it is now. Well, Sorg, <laughs> Sorg is going to play my favorite non wrestling clip of the entire WrestleMania. Well, with, well, this was oh. on the pre show, I believe. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's still my favorite non wrestling moment of WrestleMania. It's everything I love about WWE right now. <laughs> Make that happen, Sorg. Double, double. Do that thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you do, do right. that thing. Do it. A lot of you didn't see this on the pre-show, of course. Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! You look so proud. Yes! 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 <laughs> and the yes. best part is yes. that you yes. know from the yes. way You're she's doing it, that she was instructed to not turn her back to the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that was great I, acting, AJ. Everything AJ's yeah, been doing is amazing. Turn her back to me. By the way, thank you, everyone. Uh, I've really put my all into this. Uh, <laughs> into this <laughs> <last place. laughs> um, Your name's not AJ. Your name's Bo Diggity. <clears throat> But uh, it is both. He got you there. Oh. There you go. But All the right. Daniel, it, someone made a good comparison that this whole Daniel Bryan AJ yeah. thing is a, like a newer age version of the uh, Macho Man Miss Elizabeth. Yeah. 
Yeah. It really, it's really become that. And it's really, it's, you know, just really awesome stuff. Like for, we put the clip that we played in the, uh, in the beginning of the show, uh, we didn't show you the part where, um, Daniel Bryan, uh, go, gives the mic to AJ and goes, so AJ, what do you think? And then he takes the mic away from her and says, shut up, go to the back. Shut and up, everybody you. starts <laughs> chanting and yelling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes the and they're cheering. Domestic <laughs> issues have now become the in thing with wrestling fans. Who would have not? Who I don't know, it? Sorg. Do you have that certain wrestler on your Facebook? Because he made a mention to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I do. He's yes, like, I do, actually. He's like, I was going to say, he's like, great, right? Daniel Bryan is stealing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, all right, guys, it's time to wrap up. Uh, so, let's. what did you guys learn from WrestleMania this year? Hmm? You want to go first there, Chuck? I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Well, you're good. Hey, WWE. Yeah. Don't bring out the fucking light cycle if no one's going to ride the fucking light cycle <laughs> to the ring. Now explain this. Where was the light cycle in case people missed it? Well, if you are paying attention during the Rock's entrance, for some unknown reason, they ruled out a fucking Tron light cycle. During Flow Rider. On stage. Yeah. Florida. Yeah, Florida. <laughs> he walked past it twice. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, God. Bobby's dying. What happened? Sorg, say flow rider again. Flow rider? You're like, you're like, flow rider. It's the whitest <laughs> way to say it. <laughs> he, was, he was the flow rider. Flow rider. Flow no, rider. Like, like a <laughs> so I learned rider. that WWE will bring out props that they're not going to use. <laughs> exactly. All right. How about you, LB? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Mr. Mania in the box. Uh, Mania in the box. Oh, why didn't they use that this morning? I mean, <laughs> the show. Uh, I learned that uh, in 18 seconds, uh, Daniel Bryan can get over more than a rock <laughs> did in a year. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. How about yes. you, Wrestle yes. Fan? Yes. Yes! 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 Spanish or tech ad? Spanish yes chant. Go for it. Okay then. Oh, too bad we don't have any French guys. Well, WrestleMania is awesome. I learned from WrestleMania this week, and I'm going to steal this from Brandon Stroud. I'm going to quote another Brandon Stroud thing. WWE needs to take the intern who constructed the Team Johnny, Team Teddy flags and needs to fire them. Because <laughs> those aren't no. flags. No, those are awesome. Come on. No, they're, no, they were they, meant to they, be cheesy. The flag was – like when Vicky was waving the flag, she wasn't – it's it's like they used like felt for the flags. Like it wasn't moving properly. Because they – because they, well, they Elmer – Because they Elmer glued a face onto them or something. Well, no, it's because of the material. It's not because of the face. What are you taking in college? They oh, man. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can construct a much better flag than whoever did it at WrestleMania. All That's right. all I'm saying. What did you learn from WrestleMania, Bo Diggity? I learned that the next day, Chicken Nuggets uh, disagree with you in the middle of a meeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Also yeah. learned. <laughs> yeah, I. I I still have. That's it, what so. you need Activia for. I'm sorry. I still yeah. No, it. I know, Bobby. Bobby, trust me. The yogurt is not is not a thing that uh, that doesn't exist in my I life. Mean, trust me, it's fine. Uh, chicken nuggets just I bind mean, you up real I, good, I, I, and then it causes problems. The other thing that I learned <laughs> is that I have already forgotten the Kane Orton match. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. how forgettable uh, that that's match okay because you're gonna have a like, re- uh, you're gonna have a rematch gone. friday that's fine that's fine all right Yay. bobby fj town what did you learn from wrestlemania i learned that when cena i, I learned that when john cena loses a match doink the clown may come and try to kill him <laughs> they were so suicidal oh, God. And raw. and i was saying that the so whole night raw. that music it's happy music i'm like <laughs> are we gonna go to the back and john cena is gonna be hanging from a noose is this what's gonna happen? <laughs> awesome. And then, I, and then uh, yeah, go ahead. 
Okay. Did you have, did you have something <laughs> <Yeah>. else? <laughs> no, I'm done. Okay. All right, it. Wheels, what did you learn from WrestleMania? I have learned from WrestleMania that when you have low expectations on a match, even three old guys yeah. can prove you wrong. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to bring up before. Oh. I was really impressed with too that late. match. It told a story. I loved it. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> Riz, how about you? What did you learn from WrestleMania this year? One, I learned never be forced to eat a cupcake. <laughs> Where's that picture at? We need to find that picture. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Why were yeah. you forced to eat a cupcake? Yeah, it's it's a it's a long story. No, it's not a <laughs> long story. It's worth also, telling. Go ahead. <laughs> Did Lord Tensor? We were, we were all we were all taking a picture, and I actually peeled the cupcake wrapper from the cupcake, and then Missy said, "Oh, you're about to eat your cupcake." I was like, "Sure, why not?" And it went all over my face. Oh, we got a picture here. In my hand. That's what yeah. she said. There. There's, there's sword. Sword peer pressure. It looks like I'm about to throw up <laughs> right on his sword. Yeah, what his hand is covering is the frosting running down the side of his face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but also, I, from the actual wrestling event that happened, uh, besides the cupcake, um, I learned that whenever there's a near fall, Shawn Michaels gets very, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Crazy. Bad shit crazy. <laughs> like, am I, am I wrong? No. <laughs> no. I was laughing because, uh, <laughs> I was laughing because Lady, Lady uh, Saucebox just sent out a tweet that said, if I ever become a f- professional wrestler... Stone Cold Jane Austen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Uh, Sword. Oh, hey, I learned something. Sword. Hey, Sword. 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 Oh. Sword. Sword. Um. Yes. Mm. Yes. No. Yes. 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 We. Yes. We. Yes. Yes. We. Yes. We. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, I heard I, it's not so much what I learned, but I thought there was a really good quote. I, 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 I heard uh, saw I, I don't even know where it was. I think it was the between the ropes uh, guys talking about this. I found a video after after uh, that very night. Uh, but uh, when you look at the uh, the main matches, of course, you know, Triple H, uh, Taker and the Rock Cena, um, the, the quote went something like, um, the 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 crowd reactions made Cena rock, but Triple H and uh, Undertaker made crowd reactions. Hmm. Think about that. So I leave you with hmm. that, guys. This has been the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, as usual, you can hit us up wrestlingmayhemshow.com to see everything going on there. Twitter yes. us at Mayhem yes. Show. Yes. Uh, why don't you give us yes. an email yes. to yes. Yes. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Yes. 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 yes, 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 You guys keep going. And 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 go we're here live, live at Sorgatronmedia.com every Tuesday at 8 30 p.m. If you want to join on this madness, please feel free and please subscribe to us on, on your iTunes, on your YouTube. All the places you can find us. Just type in Wrestling Mayhem Show and you'll find all that stuff out. Links over on the website. And uh, and with that, and by the app, $1.99 in your yes. respective stores. Yes. And yes. I leave yes. you guys yes. with no. this yes. Mayhem yes. Show. Yes. 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 Yes.